your body this is nasim from nasimrez.com and you are welcome to my another brand new video so in this video i am going to show you how you can track a button click for your facebook ads so like in my last video i showed you how you can send that event to google analytics and now i am going to say, show you how you can send it to facebook okay so if you need my help or you're like you can't fix your data tracking issue or conversion tracking issue you can definitely contact me i will give all the contact information of this video description so all and you, as you can see i am a top rated freelancer on upwork so i have pretty experience on this field that i am working so definitely feel free to contact me so let's drive in the topic so this is actually our google tag manager and this is our landing page or funnel page or website whatever you have it will be pretty same but you just follow this step that i am going to show you so that's actually a demo landing page from funnel builder and uh, this is already connected with this google tag manager container and if you have a website make sure your website is connected with google tag manager with this html code okay so when you have done then you are ready to go just uh, go to preview first because we need that event on google tag manager so connect the google tag manager preview with the debug assistant and you can see tag assistant is connected and now just like we want to track this add to cart button like whatever button you have in your landing page you it will be the same okay so for example we can track add to cart button just hit the click so i am clicking this button and go back to tag assistant what's going on here so here you can see i am not getting any click event so first of all we need to get appear the click event here then we can track that okay so for solving this issue we need to go on the variables uh, sorry triggers we need to go on triggers and new hit the new and select all elements just keep it and save it all elements so then go to preview again okay you can see it's opening again on the preview mode and uh, now it's the uh, if i hit this button see our click event is now appear on our google tag manager assistant so now we can easily track with the if i show you the variables and here you can see the uh, click text now visible here click classes are visible here so you can use click classes uh, or the click text whatever you want to track that button click okay now let's make a event for that so first of all hit the new button and then hit the new and here you can see if i search facebook there is no facebook here so don't worry go to tag template so when your tag template gallery is appeared or search your facebook and then you will get the facebook pixels template just add to this workspace so when you have done you need to add the pixels id so for example i don't have to input the real pixels id just input this a demo pixels id and you can see this is the page view i just want to make it uh, page view because uh, we need to set up base connection first and then our uh, custom event event okay so for base connection our trigger will be all pages and then save it and when you have saved then uh, we need to make another tag for sending that custom event so 
just input your pixel id here and select add to cart because here you can see this button is add to cart now i just want to send it to facebook so add to cart and this is the important thing to make trigger i just want to choose this all element and just make it more specific so here is the all click selected select now some click classes i just want to change it to click text and then i just copy and the text from here and paste it here and we can change the name it add to cart button click okay then save it and now save with a meaningful name which is sometime important because when you have a lot of tag listed here you can un identify easily with this meaningful name okay now let's go to preview again and uh, check our tag is firing or not so hit that button and here you can see our add to cart is sending and it will show on your like here you can see the pixel it's showing okay i it's showing uh, the warning because of i didn't i use the real pig meta id or pixel id whatever you say so when you have done then hit the submit button and that's it guys so if you need any help to fix your tracking issue you can contact me all the details will be appear on this video description let's see you on the next video